Chelsea Handler calls Trump mental moron, gets caught exposing her own mystery illness. Chelsea Handler has had a rough year. After being fired from Netflix, the unemployed celebrity says she is dedicating her life to political activism, but so far, that's been a big bust. Handler has jumped on the ridiculous accusations that President Donald Trump is a mental moron, and she thinks she's rather clever telling him to eat another quarter pounder. However, that all came to a stop when she was caught exposing her own mystery illness. So, Chelsea Handler is dumber than a box of rocks, but that's something we all already knew. She's been on a tirade posting mind-numbing conspiracy theories that she gets from her awesome research, which equates to watching MSNBC's Rachel Maddow. After a nut job Yale psychiatrist proffered a plan to illegally extract Trump from the presidency based on her diagnosis that our president was mentally unstable, Handler couldn't contain herself. Yale professor and clinical psychiatrist Dr. Ben D. X. Lee has warned that President Donald Trump may bring about the extinction of the human species because of his mental instability, reported Breit Bart. The former Netflix star jumped on the bandwagon, which is exactly what communist dictators did to their political adversaries, and she posted a slew of tweets about Trump's mental issues. Mental instability is your playbook. Ronald Reagan had early Alzheimer's. You have something far more dangerous, sheer stupidity, tweeted Handler. She also called Trump a basket of Oreos and said, You are stable, sick, lunatic. Chelsea's been a busy bee, tweeting over 1015 posts in the last 48 hours, accusing Trump of various mentally unstable actions. So, when Handler exposed that it is she who is suffering from a psychiatric disorder, the irony was not lost on Trump supporters. She tweeted, my psychiatrist who has helped me see the world in a completely different way, at Dr. Dan Siegel, has a new book W slash at Tina Bryson. The Yes Brain is out today, January 9th. As a registered nurse who worked for years in the psychiatric walk towards at Los Angeles County, let me tell you, it is not the job of a psychiatrist to help anyone see the world in a completely different way. That would be the job of a psychologist. If anyone is seeing a psychiatrist, who is a medical doctor, it's for medical treatment. Their job is diagnosing and prescribing medication for mental illness. So, what's Handler's mental illness? Well, we could all speculate or just call her plain crazy. She has no problem calling the president mentally unstable when she's the one seeing a psychiatrist. As Twitchy reported, she, Handler, might want to get her money back because the different way she's seeing the world seems to be pretty nutty. And seriously, if we were Dan Siegel or Tina Bryson we might think twice about Chelsea Handler endorsing our book. Twitchy added, considering the number of tweets Chelsea has sent accusing Trump of being nuts? The irony of her promoting a book written by her own psychiatrist is probably lost on her. Others weighed in too, sick and tired of the washed up celebrity spewing her brand of crazy about our president. Oh honey, you need more help than that. Mary Ellen Anson replied to Handler, while others told her you need a new psychiatrist, and this is so laughable, epic failure by Chelsea. We've always thought Handler was suffering from some type of obsessive disorder. Just like Rosie O'Donnell, her mind is constantly on Trump. One Trump supporter, calling himself Black Label 562, hit the nail on the head, tweeting, Have you talked to anyone about your obsession with that POTUS with him, her psychiatrist? Or is he a nut job liberal like you that needs a safe place? Oh yes, all the psychiatrists treating the Hollywood crowd in Los Angeles are leftists. It's partly the reason they are all so screwed up. Poor Chelsea Handler, she is very out in the open about her drug use which, when taken with prescribed psychoactive medications, can pretty much make anyone a complete basket case. The leftist celebrity is utterly consumed with President Donald Trump. Add that she needs the services of a psychiatrist, and she may be the next celebrity to be visited by the Secret Service. She fits the profile of a mentally unstable stalker, just like Rosie O'Donnell, Kathy Griffin, and that loudmouth Joy Behar. God save President Donald Trump and keep a hedge of protection around him because the number of unhinged celebrities who are obsessed with hating him at all costs is staggering. Liberalism is a mental illness, 
and there's no magic pill to make it or these not jobs go away. Away.